Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Water has so many faces. Some may find it fascinating, while others scary. But the only thing constant is the adventures it brings to the fishermen. And while we are still unknown to most of them, here are a few which are recorded by the anglers. Bug Eye Fish. This fisherman caught a fish? What's so extraordinary about that? Because this fish has got bulging eyes. Though it looks like a pretty terrible sight, it's actually a condition known as Popeye disease, or exothalmus, in which a fish's eyes swell up and bulge out of the sockets. And if the fish doesn't get immediate treatment, which it usually doesn't, the eye may be left swollen forever, and the suffering fish might lose her eyesight, which can easily get her in fishermen's traps. Two-Headed Fish Two heads or two mouths? Well, I'm not sure about that, but one thing is for sure, that these fish are one of their kind. Though these fish may sound mythical, they have been recently captured by some fishermen in New York. And not just one, but many fishermen have captured multiple conjoined twins in the water. What is the reason behind these unusual births? No one knows. Could it be a birth defect? Or have we discovered a totally new species? Thief in Sea Meet Poncho, the sea lion. He is famous because of his amazing stealing skills. Watch how he steals from the man holding his trophy catch. But let me clear one thing. He's not really a thief. It is just because sea lions eat fish and because of the recent fall in the marine fish, their diet has become scarce. Therefore, they've started stealing from humans. I do feel sorry for the poor fisherman who lost all his fish to a single sea lion. Bottle fishing. This kid has got a unique technique to catch the fish, and it is probably the coolest one too. The technique simply involves picking up four plastic bottles and tying a fishing thread over them, and then placing fish food over the hook to attract the fish. After a few hours of setting the trap, the boy comes back and there they are. A lot of them are trapped in the bottle. And with so much less effort, the kid has captured his dinner. Quite enough for today. Whiptail Stingray. This fisherman captured a tiny stingray, but there's just one problem. It stings so bad. Watch for yourself, but wait. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna get him to a hook again. Jeez, he did. If a tiny stingray can sting that hard, what would happen if you get stung by this one? Luckily, no one's ever experienced it because they are usually harmless and only attack when they feel defensive. But this stingray is extremely huge. It weighs almost 800 pounds and is 14 feet long, making it one of the largest stingrays and have been released right after taking the necessary measurements. Alligator Gar. The largest ones from the Gars family. They are slow swimmers and are usually found in the rivers of North America. They are quite famous in the marine world as hunters and fishermen across the year keep coming to catch or even have a glimpse of these enormous fish. The fish captured by this fisherman is seven and a half feet long and is probably more than a thousand pounds heavy. Electrofishing. Though illegal in many regions of the world, some fishermen still use electrofishing to avoid the hassle. So what happens is that electric generators are fixed in the boat that releases current, which kind of immobilizes the fish, so the fishermen can easily catch them using a net. The idea was basically developed for the marine biologists to help them in their research, but soon it was adopted by numerous fishermen too. Mammoth Tusks Recently, a man from Yakut found a 50 kilogram mammoth tusk floating in the water while he was out fishing near his home. The tusk is expected to have appeared because of the recent increase in Earth's temperature. 
and many fishermen have found out the fossil of woolly mammoth in recent times, which has hyped up the scientists' research of finding out more about prehistoric life. And because of increased demand for mammoth tusks in this research, fishermen are always watching out for them in the water. Salmon Hunt It looks like a salmon tsunami in the ocean, but it's actually how fishermen capture hundreds of tons of salmon. Although it is an amazing technique to save time and effort, it is quite a risky task to do, as those nets can catch anything, or it might include a dangerous sea creature. And fishing hundreds of tons might not be useful at a single time, which makes it stand in the line of overfishing. It's happening at an alarming rate. Do you agree with the usage of such techniques? Let me know. Eel King This man is known as the Eel King. Why? Because he can literally smell eels. He will smell some from a distance and will go to the exact same spot where they are resting. And there lies your answer. He then fills up his boat with water and eels. And off he goes with plenty of eels swimming in his boat. Though these eels are considered deadly, they are an integral part of Japanese cuisine and a single eel will be more than 50 bucks. It's like living your nightmare riding with the eels crawling over your legs, isn't it? Piranha Fish This man was describing the characteristics of a piranha when the fish decided to show one by herself and it bit the fisherman. This fish has the sharpest teeth to shred prey like small fish and scrape the vegetables, but they can cut anything. It only takes a slight thoughtless bite, and anything that comes under its sharp jaws is in pieces. And human hands are their favorite thing to bite during the dry season. And though the wound caused by it is not fatal, it is still quite painful. Parasitic Lamprey This fisherman caught a lamprey attached to his bass's skin. Parasitic lampreys are quite old for marine animals. They have at least survived four major extinctions and are natives of the Atlantic Ocean. They are known as bloodsuckers because they suck up the blood and other fluids of fish gradually. They can even suck on humans, but are not as fatal as they are for fish. Watch how it leaves a hole in the fish's body when the man cuts it from the skin. Rescued Bear Two fishermen were crossing the river near the Vigo forest when they saw a baby bear almost drowned in the water. At first, they hesitated to go near the baby, but when they could not figure out any other way to save it, they simply drove their boat near the cub, and surprisingly, the bear figured out that they came to help and started climbing the boat. But that was not it. He was still struggling to get into the boat, and that's when they decided to use the fishing net to lift the bear in the boat. Despite his big size, the idea worked, and they finally saved the bear. Bamboo Trap Bamboo fishing traps are pretty common in Asia. Look how this guy is digging a hole in the muddy water, and then fix four bamboos in the mud to make a secure trap for the catfish. He then mixes fresh duck eggs in the water hole to attract as many fish as possible, and the trap is ready. The only thing left is the fish. And that's not it. It seems like bamboo can be used for various reasons. Watch how the man is taking a bamboo stick into the water and then dipping it in, covering it from one end with a hand. And here it goes, a handful of fish. Jumping fish. These fish are jumping. Wait, what? Did I say fish are jumping? Well, actually they are. Such jumping fish are called silver carp. They are so sensitive to sound that even a motorboat or the sounds of a geese flock landing can make them jump 10 feet in the air. Their extraordinary jumps have made them water celebrities, and people often come specifically to watch these fish jumping over them. But their jump can be quite hurtful sometimes, and they have injured many passengers and water skiers during it. Croaker fish. A man catches a single fish, and it makes him a millionaire. Sound amazing? Well, it is, because he actually caught a croaker fish. 
they are extremely rare because of their large swim bladder, which automatically makes them expensive. And due to their rarity, these fish have high demands in the market as they are used in various science experiments and for medical purposes in Asian countries like China. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This picture was caught by a fisherman who was returning home after a hectic day when he suddenly saw something emerging from the water. He quickly jumps back, thinking it might be the Loch Ness Monster coming out of his hiding spot. But when he looked at the photo, it looked like a weird, hairy mermaid or an ape which was coming out of the water. Was it really a hairy river monster or our childhood mermaid fantasy finally become true? Tell us in the comment section. See you soon!